open my mind looking at the replay again, you know, really? instead of looking at my teammates. What was the atmosphere of the huddle in that last drive? Oh, uh, man, he was composed. You know, we, we go through that every day in practice. You know, coach always say, the game's not over until it's 0-0 on the clock, and we just went out there and played hard and finished strong. Roy, over here to you, left. Um, uh, what do you think of your team's resolve today? I mean, the, the fairly poor performance in the first half. Uh, you know, you didn't give it. It didn't seem like you gave up. Uh, what was the team's resolve? What, what was your input? Um, you know, coaches say always just stay together, you know, always try to encourage each other, you know. Uh, we just never gave up, you know. Um, we just stuck it out, you know, play 60 minutes. That's what he told us, you know, go out there and play 60 minutes strong. We didn't play our best football. We played Michigan football, but, you know, that's what we had to practice. Get ready for practice and get ready for Eastern Michigan. Roy, over here. Did anyone did anyone say anything to you guys in the second half or in the fourth quarter as far as just the receivers? Because it seemed like you guys were struggling up until maybe those last three drives. Yeah, I mean, everybody, you know, the seniors, you know, that's, that's what we plan for, you know, each game. And the seniors just, you know, just woke up to us and just told us, let's go out there and just play for 60 minutes and give it your all. And that's what we did. We didn't stop until the clock was 0-0. Roy, do you I know you're a guy that likes to have the ball in your hands a lot. I believe, I don't have a statue, but I think that was your only catch of the game. Can you just talk about staying in the game? You say play 60 uh, minutes and, yeah, and you, you come up there. there. I'm a team player. You know, I, I go out there and, you know, put my hand in the dirt and block. Um, I'm not really concerned, I'm concerned about the ball as long as we win, you know. That's what I'm here for. I, I'm a team player and I'm not just standing with the football, you know. And, you know, now look, I uh, got the game winner. <laughs> Roy, um, how did you experience the last couple years against Notre Dame? You guys have had last second game winning touchdown drives. How did that help you guys get through this one, especially knowing there's only 30 seconds left? Yeah, I mean, uh, playing through it last year, seeing the same results, and we came out with the W, and uh, just being down all, all uh, the game and just staying composed, you know, just trying to make sure we get the right plays and execute the right way. And, you know, I feel like we did that in the second half, even though, you know, the defense played great. And uh, having turnovers, and we just had the offense just had to go out there and execute the right way. Right over here again. On that last, just kind of take me through what it was like in the huddle before that last play, and then what you were supposed to. Was that exactly what you were supposed to do, or? I mean, the play that uh, Coach called before that when Gallon caught the uh, the wheel round, I was like, man, he got a score. He, you know, cut across the field. I'm like, okay, here we go. And uh, when Nard came back in the huddle, he was composed and uh, just told us, you know, you called the play and. I felt like the defender was far inside, so I just got up on his toes. And, you know, Coach Heck always say, uh, big players make big time plays. And, you know, that's what I did today. Uh, take us through how how down was the team 30 seconds left having to come back and then Notre Dame comes right back down the field and scores? Uh, I mean, we, we always had this this uh, situation, tempo stuff in practice. So it's something we're used to. You know, offense be up, defense got to stop us. or. Offense up, defense got to stop. So what we did, you know, just stay, stay together. That's the thing. Uh, adversity, you know, that's the thing that we always gonna face in football, and that's what we did today. We just overcame it. You were you were getting interfered with on the catch. Just go through the action, the physical part of making the catch, and how much were you bothered by the contact? There? Yeah, I, I mean, once I saw saw the ball come off, you know, it was high. You know, I put it up high, so I, you know, adjust to it and. Uh, once I came back towards it, he was still up on me. So I just, you know, jumped up in the air and just focused on it. And when I came down, I made sure my, my one foot was in. <laughs> and uh, once I hit the ground, I was just like, man, I just scored the touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> was there more pressure going into tonight's game, being under the lights first time, even though it is Notre Dame? More pressure tonight? Oh, uh, this Michigan. There's always pressure. You know, uh, we, we know what's at stake. And, you know, we just want to win for each other and win for the seniors. And, you know, every day in practice, that's what we go out there and do and get well, get better to uh, prepare for ourselves for Saturdays. All right. Roy, before the last uh, throw to you, was there any debate there with uh, your head coach or anything about kicking the field goal or, or going for the touchdown? Nah, I mean, once I once got me, uh, ran down to, what, I don't know, the 10 or 20, whatever his yard line was, you know, it just got back in the hole. We saw that we had uh, time left, and, you know, coach just took a, coach just took a stab at it and, <coughs> you know, came out with it. Can you uh, can you talk a little bit about uh, the play of Denard? I mean, did you have any talks with him or teammates? I mean, ups and downs, big plays, bad plays. Um, you know, when Denard had them, them interceptions, you know, we just he just came back to the sideline. He really just wasn't frustrated or nothing like that because you know we we he's a team player and we know we got his back. Um, it's all about trust and 
No, that's what we, you know, just try to put that at stake. Did you say anything, Phil? For me, y'all, y'all say it's okay. We, we got, you know, next play, your best play. Yeah. Roy, over here. Uh, the play before uh, the play before you cut that touchdown pass, Jeremy's play, how did he get so wide open? What were you thinking when the ball was in there? Tell you the truth, once I turned around, I saw Gallon by himself. I'm like, whoa, how did this happen? <laughs> and I just know, you know, I, I know he's going to catch it, man, because uh, Gallon put in a lot of work, man. Good football player. And, you know, I saw him cut across the field. I'm like, oh, man, he about to you know, come my way. So I had to put a block for him. So, you know, it was great seeing Gallon go out there and give it his best. Anything else for Roy? That's right. Thank you.